Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on typography. This can help when you're designing any brochure, a letter, a book, as we have a project coming up, and so I think this would be a great tutorial. Here I have five different styles of fonts, and we're going to look at what makes each of them unique. This first one right here is called a serif font. It is called a serif font because it has these little end things on of them. This is the serif. So this is a Times New Roman font. People say that this is easy to read when it's small. It's a very classic look, and so that's the kind of feel that you get from a serif font. This next one right here is a sans serif. Sans means without, so without a serif, which is why each of the ends of the letters are clean breaks. There is nothing at the end of them. It's just a nice clean line. Sans serif <coughs> has a very modern, cool feeling. Uh, if you think about Apple, they use it, and when they transform Google, Google now has a sans serif font. And so this is a uh, very modern and cool feeling with these. They also say that this is easy to read on the web when it's small. Old style looks a lot like a serif font if you look. And it's almost that the old style is another set within a serif. If you look at the old style, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the serifs are slanted. So if you look right here on the L's and the D's and especially the T right here, the swoop, this is what gives it the old style feeling. Also, the uh, spacing right here, if you notice on the serif, it's thicker. And if you come down here, it's a more dramatic lift, especially on the O right here. So this makes it an old style feeling. This is Gaudi old style font right here. Decorative are the fun fonts. They're the ones with the swirls and the curly cues. And this one looks like it's old and paper and maybe burned a little bit. So these are fun if you're doing like a themed party or something like that. However, if you're going for a business feel or you want to be a little bit more professional, a decorative font may be something to stay away from. They can be really hard to read when they're small, so I suggest just using these for titles and things like that. This is a script font. These are the handwritten calligraphy fonts that are also really fun to use, but they can be really hard to read when they're small, especially when there's a lot of text. The, when you look at all of these, it's really important to think about the message that you're trying to portray. If you were doing something for a wrestling group, you wouldn't necessarily use a handwritten because this looks too feminine. It doesn't represent wrestling at all. Whereas if we were doing something maybe for a wedding, then it works a lot better and it has the right type of feel. So it's very important to consider your message when you are picking your font. It's also important to think about which font you want to be your main font and then which ones you want to be supporting. A lot of times in the comm department, we suggest not using more than two sets of fonts, but if you have reason to use three, you can, so long as they all support the main one and they're all readable and they all fit your theme, I think that's okay. It's also important to remember that um, size and spacing and different things like that matter. If we come over here to this example, this top one right here, it says you could win a trip to Hawaii. Now the thing that stands out most from this is win. And why is that? It's because of its size. It's a lot bigger than everything else. It's all capital. And this is what people see when they look at this. So it's important to remember size and exactly what you want to accomplish. Also right here, this is a fun different play of arranging different fonts. So these play off of each other well. You have the stark contrast of the bold, super thick, dark, and then you have the light and slanted uh, font at the bottom. Here we have the wedding example again and then just a simple serif font down at the bottom to make it feel a little bit more formal and also to go along with the scripted wedding feeling. Now I'm going to show you how you can add this to uh, picture or something that you have. So I have this font right here and it's not exactly something that I feel like matches. And I don't have anything 
in here that I feel like matches. So I decided that I'm going to go get something from somewhere else. There's lots of different fonts that you can use, but I usually like to use um, Defont.com. They have a lot of free fonts. The awesome thing about uh, lots of different sites is that you can click on it and it'll give you a chance to type in what you want to see. So I've typed it in, I submit it, and it shows up right here and I think, okay, yeah, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I download it. And then you can open it up, open up the zip file. And then once it gets here, you want to click on the TTF, you double click it, and then you press install font. And then just like that, it should all be installed on your computer. Normally that last part doesn't happen. So then when I come here, I can go in and type it in. And there it is. And then I can come in, play with the sizing, decide what I where I want it, line it up right here. So those are just a couple of things that you can think of when you're picking out typography and um, I hope that this has been a helpful tutorial for you guys. Thanks for staying and listening.